Welcome back to CMQ Investing, this is Chris Franco. Even if you don't have Vision Pros, well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the truth about why Warren Buffett has been selling shares of Apple. I was taken aback by the headline that Warren Buffett was selling Apple because, well, Warren Buffett loves Apple. Why would he sell it? Apple, I don't see myself selling. I have to admit, I was a little bit concerned because Apple is a big part of my portfolio. And although it's not because Warren Buffett owns it, I've actually owned Apple longer than Warren Buffett. And believe me, I'm not, giving myself any more credit than I deserve, than I deserve. Get the limited edition legend t-shirt featuring Chris Franco. He's better than Warren Buffett. Now available exclusively on Alibaba. It's really easy when you look up to an investor and you see, oh, they're selling 10 million Apple shares. But it's important that we go beyond the headlines. We'll get right to that, but I just want to quickly ask you guys, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the channel. I cover Warren Buffett here. I've done a lot to spread Warren Buffett's wisdom over the years, and I hope to continue doing that with this channel. So please subscribe. It really does help a lot, and I really appreciate it. We just need to look at the Berkshire Hathaway 13F filing, which shows us that Apple is still more than 50% of the Berkshire stock portfolio despite Warren Buffett selling about $2 billion worth of Apple. And the value of those shares is approximately $175 billion. And even after selling more than 10 million shares, Berkshire Hathaway's ownership stake in Apple is nearly 6%. And this has been very consistent because Apple has been aggressively buying back shares ever since Berkshire Hathaway first started buying shares of Apple. But why would Berkshire Hathaway sell any shares? I can't answer that question, but what I can say pretty confidently is that it's not because they lost faith in Apple. At the end of the day, the truth is that Apple is still the exact kind of business that Berkshire Hathaway loves to own. What I'm going to buy is the business where I feel extremely certain about the competitive advantage, extremely certain about the integrity and ability of the management, and where I think the discounted flow of the cash that business will produce over time makes sense in relation to its current price. You really are looking for a business that over an extended period can employ large amounts of incremental capital at very high rates of return. And that's Apple's business in a nutshell. And that's why Warren Buffett chooses to have that 5.5% stake in Apple instead of going to buy 100% of another business. The truth is Warren Buffett actually sold some of his Apple shares in 2020. And this is what he told Berkshire Hathaway shareholders at the 2021 meeting. Well, we have 5.3% or something like that now. It's gone up in the first quarter because we bought in our shares, which helps our own shareholders expand their interest in Apple indirectly without laying out a penny. And then Apple's repurchased its shares and just announced another repurchase program. So let's say we, we look at Apple as a business that we own 5.3%. Now, we've got it's, it's a marketable security, so it shows up as way greater than any other marketable security we have. But of course, if you look at our railroad, well, Union Pacific is selling for about 150 billion in the market. And we own one that's a little larger than the Union Pacific and making a little less money, but not, not much less. It's an extraordinarily Apple. It's got, got a fantastic manager. Tim Cook was underappreciated for a while. He's, he's one of the best managers in the, in the world. And I've seen a lot of managers. And he's got a product that people absolutely love. And, and uh, there's an installed base of people, and they get satisfaction rates of 99%. The brand and the product, it's an incredible product. So it's, and we, we, you know, we got a chance to buy it. And I, I sold some stock last year, although our shareholders still had their percentage interest go up because we repurchased shares. But that was, that was probably a mistake. In fact, I think... And Charlie, in, in his usual low-key way, uh, uh, let me know that uh, you thought it was a mistake too, didn't you, Charlie? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it, I could only do so many things that I can get away with with Charlie, and I kind of used them up between Costco and Apple. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Here's some more videos that I think you'll like, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys again on the next video. Later.